Thank you. Exactly. Yes. Um, I've lost my notebook. Ooh. <laughs> I'm really sad about it. Inside with my um, one of these type of notebooks, the one on the outside, so if you find it, I'm Jill. So, so please look for Jill's. Be aware. And I've misplaced a black sweater. Okay, we got a black sweater out there too somewhere. Look, youth group, please keep up with your That's things. Right. <laughs> okay, uh, the rest of the schedule for this afternoon is from two to three. Uh, Kathleen's gonna help us share our plans. Uh, we'll take about a 15 minute break after that and we'll do some piece on evaluation and education. And tonight we're looking at the spiritual dimensions of our projects. Uh, and so I'm just gonna turn it over to Kathleen for the next hour. Okay, so what we have is some time, a little bit of time, 60 minutes, where we're hoping for the opportunity to allow you to share more than your headlines, um, but to give everyone in the room a chance to hear three things, and I think this will be helpful. We need your headline, which headline was yours, pa your passion, you know those questions that were at the top of your action plan sheets from Dan? So we're going to ask number one, because I think it's good to have the background. Hi, I'm Kathleen. My passion is such and such. <laughs> the title of my project is, and you can name your hook, and then your success sentence. And part of the reason is for this is that hopefully between now and Sunday morning, you'll be able to speak with people, oh, I heard your passion is this or that. You know, I wanted to connect to you about your success sentence. I think that's great. How are you going to do that? Um, who are you going to talk to? So it's a way, again, of connecting. And so the, the first thing is name your passion. The second thing is the title of your project, your headline. Um, and, and I want you to remember when people were giving the, their headlines and putting them up, how some were really, really hooks. The, wow, what did you say? That's really helpful if you're trying to promote something or you want someone to gain interest in things. So give us the title of your project, see if you can make it into a hook, and, name, and let us share your success sentence. So we've got about, we should have about 30 people in the room to share, which gives us two minutes for each person. No. Okay. Um, who would like to go first? It may take us an hour just to get some of these things. I will. Thank you. My name is Cheryl Nyman. And my headline is Pollinators. My passion is sustainability, and my success sentence is inflammation. Implementation of pollinator gardens at three different parishes Ooh. on their grounds. Yeah, great. That's it. Thank you. It's well under two minutes. Good. Yeah, sure. You just stand okay, up if you're ready to go. Okay. Uh, my name is Tina Wilkinson, and my passion is creation care. My project name is Solarized Dunwoody. I have to confess, this project has already been done in other locations, so I'm just kind of Photocopying it for my purposes. And my success in this is our goal is to reduce pollution by switching to clean solar energy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So mine is a meditation garden at Hollis Innovation Academy. And my success sentence to repurpose an old, unusable courtyard that exists within an underserved school into a lush green space with garden beds, walkways, possibly a labyrinth, a water fountain with fish, flowers, vegetables, and herbs, benches, and enlarged climbing rocks. Yes. I'm Dave Beeson, and the project name was Food Fight. It's a food truck. The passion is food justice and fair food for all. The success sentence is, we bring tasty, helpful food to families, kids, groups, and neighborhoods everywhere for $2. Literally cool. Yes. My name's Martha Pierce, uh, and my 
activity or whatever. It's Washburn Youth Earth Care Team. And the sentence is to initiate a group focusing on youth or young adults of Granger County, broadening their awareness of the crisis in our climate and working together to take action. Thank you. with my, my program actually, but my passion is advocacy to fight climate change. And um, my project name was uh, Churches on Fire for Creation Care slash Local Church Creation Care Empowerment is the boring part of that. Uh, the success would be to have a dozen churches in the Nashville district that are doing creation care in a substantial and sustainable way by the end of 2017. Great. My name is Martha Lyle Ford. My passion are um, my passion are children and nature. My headline is God's Backyard Explorers, and my success sentence is connecting kids with creation and creator through fun outdoor nature activities for health, well-being, and transformation. My name is Karen Weatherington. My uh, title of mine is Carbon Dioxide and Mother Earth. And my passion is reducing our carbon footprint through the energy that we use. And my success sentence is the city of Cape Spring will begin a con conversation centered around energy and how our consumption is affecting the planet. Thank you. Uh, my project name is Children Teaching Sustainability. Uh, my passion is to have children internalize the values of creation care and teach their parents and others to care for creation. And my success, success sentence is to have children, I just said that, <laughs> I read that wrong, that was, that was the success sentence. Uh, but I forget. But the passion was opening young minds to the love and care of creation earth, creatures, plants, and people. My name is Pat Trask, and my uh, passion is creation care. My project name is Green Acre Gardens, and um, my sentence would be inviting others into the garden so they can fall in love with creation again. Ellen Comstock, my passion uh, is 
church taking ownership in river quality. The headline is Eden on the Elizabeth River. Uh, success statement is three to four UMC churches in our watershed develop integrated mindfulness about river vitality and develop projects to lessen pollution in the river. I'm Bill Middlecamp. My passion is calling people of faith to cross boundaries to the discussion of environmental destruction. My headline is Creation Care Conversations, and my success story is having built the political will for policy to address environmental destruction. I'm Jill Barker. I'm going from memory. Oh. Um, so um, my title is Master Energy Efficiency. Um, my passion is to have a carbon-free future, and energy efficiency has to be a big part of that. Um, my success sentence is to, it's very specific, I did, I'm not so aspirational as you all, but I want to have at least 400, um, reach 400 people by doing house parties and raise at least um, $10,000 to do energy efficiency retrofits and fit through. I'm Bob Downs. Uh, my passion is grassroots support for the local church uh, for creation care. And uh, my headline up there is uh, Certified Lay Stewards. And basically, the attempt is to develop. Uh, the Certified Lay Servant Program to include a path for uh, Certified Lay uh, Environmental Stewards. Uh, and success will be, you know, including that path as an option. I'm Bill Girard. Uh, my headline is Sustainability for Tala Valley. Uh, my passion is raising people's awareness of how they're connected to the creation and how they need to live in synergy with nature. And uh, success sentence is the, the citizens and social institutions of Catawba County will increase their awareness and knowledge of the vital interconnection between creation and their thriving and to change their behavior toward a more sustainable interaction between themselves <coughs> and in their natural world. I'm Jonathan Brink. My passion is engaging with congregations in creation care. The um, project name is Creation Care of the <coughs> Conference. And the success sentence is to have at least one church in each district reaching beyond themselves doing creation care that impacts the community of the world. Mm -hmm. My name is Corey Douglas. I, uh, let's see, my headline is Church Develops Creation Responsibility. My passion is responsibility to live appropriately in and through God's creation. So there's that. And my success sentence is my goal is to develop sustainability programs at a church and collaborate with a local ecology center to do that. My coup, my passion is keeping to the common budget. Uh, my title is climate justice advocacy. Success to fight new fossil fuel infrastructure projects through joining and building coalitions with an emphasis on faith groups. Uh, Jonathan Lamaster Smith, my passion is faith formation, uh, place based faith formation, and environmental faith formation. And my project title is. Faith Formation Curriculum Curation. Mm -hmm. And the success in that would be the creation of an accessible online environmental faith formation curriculum and resource library that with uh, both uh, gathered resources and then original resources written by people like us for faith formation and action and, and, and um, to be accessible to anybody who would like to find them.
putting excess, excess resources in sustainable places. My name is Beth Bond. My passion is solar, and my um, project is called Solar Sunday. And the goal, my success sentence is to create a program that educates and creates a fund to get solar arrays on 10 churches in the North Georgia complex. Mm -hmm. Hi. Uh, my name is Hope Hutchison. My passion is bringing creation care into faith formation. My project name is uh, Faith Formation for Advocacy, and uh, my success sentence is uh, to ve develop a small group structure that can support people and hold them accountable as they become advocates for creation. Mm. Uh, my name is Dottie. My um, headline is Frack Free Faith. And my success line is being able to say that three times fast. <laughs> 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 sacred space to have a faith-filled conversation and dialogue around um, frack-free um, uh, uh, strategies in the local church.
and we've also talked about toxins in healthcare products. But what I really want to do, or what I, I have problems because I just see the whole world and just everything. So my thing is I have to narrow things down. So I've decided what I'm going to do to narrow things down is I'm going to teach people how to have zero waste events. And I was trying to think of a good, and I'm from Duluth, Minnesota, so I was thinking something like, Duluth doesn't do it dirty, or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> connectors and um, synergy is my passion. So I was thinking of connecting a generation of innovative enviro leaders to create disruptive thinking and resources for global social impact. Ah. Well worth waiting for. So um, I can only speak for myself but I am in awe and wonder at the journey you all have already taken in these last couple of days, mm -hmm. and the way you've been able to take broad concepts, theories, and abstract thoughts and put them down on paper and create something that's tangible, that's accessible to people, and that will motivate you to keep in the in the journey. Um, when I appreciate how isolating it can be when you go back, and how um, it's draining of your energy, but hopefully you'll be able to recall a few of these moments and um, be able to persevere and be able to thrive um, as you carry this forward. So what I would like to do is just offer a prayer of gratitude um, and then I think we'll have a break and then Dan will be with us and through the rest of the afternoon. So I would just like to offer a prayer of gratitude for all of you and the work that God is doing through you. So let's, let's pray. Almighty, most gracious creator God, you have created such a manifest, bold world that you've given to us to take care of, to shepherd, to grow and to manifest responsibility. Lord, thank you for these persons whose passion is to honor that creation, who want to connect with parents and children, with event planners, with advocacy groups, with churches, with persons and institutions that don't want to be motivated to participate. Grant these precious children of yours perseverance and patience, courage and a holy boldness to carry on in the path that you've called them to. Lord, grant them creative, outrageous ideas. Grant them wonder and curiosity to share those ideas with persons who are interested and those who are not. Because we know that sometimes the seeds we plant don't bear fruit for many years. Lord, we ask that you grant us opportunities to channel your love and light to all those who are placed in our path. And we ask that you grant us the energy and the sunlight to continue in your joyful service today and forevermore. Amen. 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 <coughs> thank you all. Thank you. That's something that humbles you to be part of, so thank you all for all your sharing. We're going to take a 20 minute break, and so come back please at uh, 2.45, and we'll get started with the final sessions for the afternoon. <coughs>